Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It is Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. It is time for some new candle reviews today. I've got three here for you today. So if you missed it from earlier this week, I did a video on my January 2023 small sniffs. So what I'm doing is each month of this year, I'm going to be trying a different small candle business and I'm going to be buying a few of the candles from the business and reviewing them, giving them a spotlight, um, and then ultimately deciding if I would repurchase or not. So I'm really excited for this. I have already done a whole video talking about my thoughts on the cold sniffs for all three of the scents that I picked up from this company. And um, so now I am ready to review each of them and talk about the scent performance and just really dive into the candle. So I will get into the other two later today in separate videos, but we are going to start it off with Lemon Drop. So the company that I chose for January was Kaluna Candles. So this is an Etsy shop and it is a local Kirkland, Washington business. Um, not local to me. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. But um, this is a local business in Kirkland, Washington, and they are handmade, so um, no machinery is used, and the person who owns this company, you know, makes them by hand, pours them. Um, so they use a 100% soy wax with coconut oil added, so... The wax to me is similar to the Kringle candle wax, which would make sense because Kringle does use a 100% natural soy wax. Um, so they're both very um, similar in the wax where you can like stick your finger and it's just very soft. Not as soft as like the Nest wax, which I believe is like a paraffin blend um where it's kind of like a glue substance almost substance almost um and you can like stick your finger through it but it's a really soft wax um they use premium fragrance oils so this one right here is a six ounce candle as you can see and this one runs for twenty dollars they do also have a smaller one which is a three ounce candle and they have it for twelve dollars and then they also have tea lights and wax melts so that is kind of what the company offers. They are also dye-free, phthalate-free, carcinogen-free, and mutagen-free. So that is some facts about their candles. I will link them down below if you are interested throughout the video um, to shop with them. It is an Etsy shop, so um, definitely support them if you are interested. And make sure to check out the video from earlier this week where I discussed the scents on cold. But now let's go ahead and get into review this one. So this one is Lemon Drop. So the top notes are lemon peel, the middle notes are agave and citrus, and then the base notes are sugar and lemon. So I really like the scent. This is a really nice lemon scent, and I specifically like lemon. I love lemon during the spring and the summer, but I specifically do like it for after the holidays because I feel like lemon is more of like a clean scent and it really just refreshes and cleanses the air. You're done with holiday tree scents and gourmands and peppermints and all those like very heavy Christmas scents. And you want something a bit lighter and on the cleaner side just to kind of clean out your palate and get ready for spring, but you're not full ready for like florals and spring type scents. This is the perfect scent for that. Um, lemon is just a really nice refreshing scent. I feel like this is more of a candied lemon um, than like a artificial lemon. Um, it just smells more like a sweet candy lemon. Nothing wrong with that. That's just what I'm observing. Um, it does have like a lot of sugariness to it, almost like a sugary lemonade, but it does definitely have like a sourness to it as well it, it definitely reminds me of like a sugary lemonade with like a pretty sour lemon but it's like a very like sweet sugared sour lemon it's really nice though and very refreshing this is definitely something that I would enjoy in the spring and the summer but I do think that it's pretty nice here now for January um there's not like a lot of citrus in this other than the lemon um I know it has the citrus and the agave notes but 
really the primary notes that I pick up are the lemon peel, the sugar, and the lemon, the uh, top and base notes. Don't really pick up either the agave or the citrus. Lemon definitely is like a citrusy fruit. So if you're just saying the lemon, but I don't really pick up any other citrusy fruits and I really don't get too much agave in this either. But I do really like this scent. It's a really nice lemon one. If you like lemon scents and you're interested in checking out this business, I definitely would consider purchasing this one. I really enjoy lemon scents. Um, so... This is a really nice one and I am definitely enjoying it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the performance. So I will give you guys an overhead view on this one. Um, as you can see, it is a one wick candle. I am almost done with it actually and um, we're pretty much here at the bottom. I have had it burning for about 15 minutes now. Um, so Throughout the like last week while I have been burning this, I kind of had some good and some bad experiences with the performance on it. Um, it started off kind of wonky and then it actually got to a pretty good place and here I feel like I'm going to be able to finish it. Um, but when I started burning it after the initial first burn, it tunneled, um, which kind of didn't surprise me that much, but I was just kind of upset that it did tunnel. Normally with single wick candles, you are pretty much guaranteed, I wouldn't say guaranteed, but there's a major chance that you're going to get tunneling. Even with like Neff's candles, their one wick candles, a lot of the times they tunnel and that's always an issue for me. Um, I think it's a mixture of trimming the wicks too short, but also just like it being a one wick candle. If the wick placement is off just by a little bit, then it's not going to burn right and it's going to burn too much to one side. Um, so I was able to help it out with the tunneling. I will back my camera up and show you guys. I was using the, um, one of my hurricanes. So if you don't know what a hurricane is, it goes over the candle like this. The base came with this hurricane. And basically what it does is it will help to trap the heat, which will help to melt the wax to the sides, um, better and so it really helps with you um, when you have issues like tunneling or just like burning issues in general these are really helpful you do have to be careful with hurricanes because sometimes it can get too hot in there and the candle will melt a lot quicker obviously and you won't notice and then um, obviously you don't want to burn a candle for way too long but you definitely have to be a little bit more um, in tune with what's going on with the candle when you do have the hurricane on it, since that can actually be a fire hazard. Um, but that's definitely been helping. Hurricanes also do help with um, just like to con to contain the flame, but also to help pump out the um, strength in the throw. So sometimes when I have lighter candles, I'll put a candle with my hurricane and it will really pump the strength in the throw out um, and that's another reason why hurricanes can be helpful. But um, I pretty much cleared up the uh, tunneling after the first few burns and really just stopped trimming the wicks all together. If there was like a soot off of it, I would just like trim it with my hand or like poke it off with my finger. But other than that, I really wasn't trimming the wicks. And after that, I didn't have that many issues. Now, when I gave you guys an overhead view, I don't know if you really saw it. I'll show you again, but there is like a little bit of wax that just got left on the sides. This is the only one that really did that. And I do believe that was because of the tunneling. But as you can see, um, it is melting away a little bit. But I think maybe when this one is done, I'll just put it um, under my candle lamp for like a few hours and it will just like help the wax to melt off the sides because it's definitely not the most appealing look and um, I think that I will do that if it doesn't melt with the flame. But um, other than that, I pre I've had pretty good um, experiences with this one. The strength in the throw actually surprised me a bit. Um, this one is definitely the strongest out of the three in the strength in the throw and I would give it about like six to a six and a half. Um, I definitely think that lemon scents are normally on the stronger side so um, this one really did pretty good and I was surprised because normally with a single wick you normally do get a lighter strength and throw but it actually threw pretty well. Um, I've been burning it in the kitchen and it just gives like a really nice lemony um, scent in the kitchen and throws pretty well in that area. So 
really been enjoying this lemon drop um and so now the question that you're probably all thinking would i repurchase i do really like this one and i think out of three that i picked up this is the one that i would pick up again i just really like the lemon that i get from this one i like the strength and the throw that i got from it and i am just really happy with it so really enjoying this candle and um i'm just really happy with the scent and the fact that i got pretty good strength and throw which definitely surprised me. But anyways, that is my thoughts on the Lemon Drop from Kaluna Candle. Let me know down below in the comment box if you would be interested in picking this one up and um, just let me know your thoughts. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload. Subscribe if you're new here so I can know that you like more content like this. And I will be back later today with a few more of the Kaluna candles. See you guys then.